My name is Brenda Diaz. I will give you a Nashville Next update. For those of you that don't know what Nashville Next is, it's a general plan for the next 25 years. So I will be speaking to you, giving you a brief update of two resource teams that we have, the housing team and the health, livability, and built environment housing team, or resource teams. So these two resource teams are part of seven resource teams that help the steering committee and the um, community understand trends Nashville should respond to. They also have already developed goals and policies and actions in the fall that will also help um, adopt these trends and also the community vision. They also will harness land use, transportation, and infrastructure investments to meet the goals. And once this plan is adopted, they will also help implement it. So these resource teams work in phases, and what they did last summer was work um, based on driving forces. So they helped identify the major forces that affected Nashville's future. In the spring, they helped with um, drafting the goals and policies, and this fall they will help with the actions based on what the uh, public has um, put with the input we've had from the summer. So for the housing resource team, we've had driving forces that help, help structure the, the goals and policies. These are gentrification, supply and demand, and the cost of living. So these, these driving forces have been the foundation for the goals and policies. What goals and policies are is a goal is a broad community level that desires for a future condition. The policies is a statement of intent to guide a decision towards the goal. Um, in the fall, like I said, we will have concrete one to five year steps to implement these policies. The first goal for the housing resource team is to help maintain affordability for all housing types in all neighborhoods in Nashville. The second goal is to have a strong and diverse housing market that meets the housing market demand. The third housing goal is to reduce the negative effects of gentrification and have all neighborhoods benefit from the neighborhood improvements. The fourth housing goal is to have strong community networks that involve residents and supportive organizations and services and have genuine access to all services and um, amenities. The next resource team is health liv livability in the built environment. These driving forces include community character, Health li healthy living, as obesity is increasing in our neighborhoods, it's very important to have this as a, a major component of our quality of life. And as Na Nashville high school students, 75% did not engage in physical activity, in major part because they didn't have access to alternate modes of transportation. Another driving force is community fellowship, green living, helping our city become green and sustainable. And with also growing in population, we need to improve the conditions of infrastructure and, infrastructure and make sure that it, it correlates with the growth in our population. So we have six goals for the Health, Livability, and Built Environment Resource Team. They include all Nashville residents have a choice of a vibrant and safe neighborhood across all community and con contexts. Our second goal is to promote the safety and wellness of all neighborhoods and to have equitable access to all goods, services, and transportation, and of course, public safety. Our fourth goal is to welcome our residents and have community fellowship. Our fifth goal is to have a healthy, attractive, and a supporting environmental and economic performance in green, green living. And our sixth goal is to have a safe and adequately maintained and intentionally planned infrastructure as we grow in Nashville. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda.